Look, I don't usually do this, but before watching this video, you kind of do really need to watch another video which I made. Um, and that video was called Genuine Needs. There was three parts to that video. You might not need to watch all three. They're only they're fairly short videos. But if you haven't seen those videos, Genuine Needs, part one, two and three, which I made, you might not really grasp what I'm saying here. And ultimately what I'm saying is that, or what I was saying in those videos is that all our daily needs are generally born of thought. Um, anyway, if you want to watch those videos or not, it's up to you. But look, at some point in time, I don't know when, but a doctor must have had a number of patients come into his office and say, oh, Doctor, look, I really need to... I really need this to be put in its right place. I really need that, that. I really need this. I really need that. I really need things to be my own way. Otherwise, I get very emotional, get very upset. And maybe the doctor himself resonated with that and, and thought to himself, yeah, I have this as well. You know, and... So so what happens, he says to himself, this is a disorder. This is a disorder. To constantly need this or that, this must be a disorder. I'm going to create a term for this. I'm going to call it obsessive compulsive disorder. You understand what I'm saying? Now, he creates this, he creates this disorder. Um, obsessive compulsive disorder he abbreviates it to OCD he puts it to the, mer the the medical authority and they agree with it you know what I'm saying they agree yes let's make this an, an official disorder and so OCD is born you know what I'm saying Do you, you follow me on this but look my point is if that doctor had never created the term, the label, OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, then that person who came into his office, who claims to need this and that to be just how they want it, if, that, if the term OCD had never be, been created, then that is all that person is. All that person is, is simply someone who needs things to be the way they want it. You know what I'm saying? What is need? Again, if you haven't watched those three videos I mentioned at the start of this video, what I've said, all our needs are born of thought. Generally speaking, all our daily needs are born of thought. If you think you need it, you think you need all these different things in life, ultimately is what I'm saying. Look, you won't die. You won't die because your television remote control is not placed parallel with, with the end of your coffee table you know what I'm saying you won't die if you don't have that picture a certain way in your house or have but you think you're gonna die if you don't have it your way <laughs> you know what I'm saying because <laughs> order the order in which you want things the order in, in the, the order in which you want things is in itself created by thought. You know what I'm saying? You want things a certain way and then someone else comes along and thinks that that's not right. I want it a different way. They think that because 
you but then you think to yourself no this is how i want it except reinforcing my point that order itself is born of thought look <laughs> if if ocd if the term ocd had never been had, if no one had ever if no one ever came up with the term ocd and obsessive compulsive disorder then people might 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 see eventually see for themselves that all my all my obsessive needs are simply born of thought you know what I'm saying? They might eventually see that for themselves if if the term OCD never existed. You know, OCD can't physically be, be detected in the body. If you go to the hospital for a scan and you lay under that scanning machine, an MRI machine or whatever you call it, the doctor can scan, do an x-ray scan on you and you they will never detect OCD within the body cancer or a tumour is a physical mass that would be detected by a scan. OCD is not. OCD cannot be detected physically by a scan. If I go to the doctor and tell my doctor, doctor I need this, I, I really need things to be the way I want them, then the doctor says to me, okay, You've got you've got it, obsessive compulsive disorder OCD, but the only reason <laughs> the only reason he can suggest that is because OCD is is accepted as being a thing. <laughs> so by creating the term OCD in itself, is what makes OCD a real disorder. Just just let that sink in for a minute. And look. <laughs> so you get diagnosed with OCD, and what happens then? You can, you can either deny it, and then think to... And then you go about thinking to yourself... Right, I need to stop. I, I, I haven't got it. I need to do something about it. Which is a paradox in itself as well. Because that thinking that you need to do something about it is also another need. I need to do something. Thinking that you need to do something about it is also another need born of thought. <laughs> or accepting the fact, yes. That doctor t told me I've got OCD. I accept it. I have got OCD. And then if you're not careful, you can almost wear it like a badge of honour. You know what I'm saying? And then suddenly everybody around you has to comply with your needs because you've got OCD. Look, unless you have a physical need, when you need to go to the toilet, that's not a need born of thought. Oh my God, my bladder's full up and I'm going to piss my pants if I don't go to the toilet. I need to go to the toilet. That's a physical need. Hunger. My belly rumbles when I'm hungry. It's not just a thought. Oh, I think I'm hungry. I know I'm hungry because I can feel it. Generally, genuine needs are arise as physical feelings. Uh, look, of course, the, the need to earn money. Most of us need need to go to work and earn money. That's not a physical feeling that arises within, within the body. That's a fact. But you know what I'm saying? So look, if you see what I'm saying, you'll see that OCD is selfish because ultimately... Another way to describe someone with OCD is just simply to say it's a person who needs everything to be their own way.
If you see this, if you really see what I'm saying here, and you see that every, generally all our silly little obsessive needs, all our daily needs are born of thought. If you really see that, there's no disorder. I love you, Mum.